Hi, we're taking a look today at the immensely popular Puffin Bay collection, which is created by the UK design house Lewis and Irene. We're going to be exploring all 15 designs in the range, plus the specially curated blenders. There's a panel in there as well, and of course, we will be chatting about some project ideas for use with these absolutely wonderful fabrics. Hi, it's Charles at Empress Mills, and we are taking a look at the absolutely gorgeous Puffin Bay collection from Lewis and Irene. It has been immensely popular since its introduction and we're delighted to have been able to restock all of the designs. So we've got the full collection available for you once again. Um, we'll dig straight into the designs because they're absolutely amazing. As always with Lewis and Irene, there are 15 prints in this collection and it is, and I'm sure some of you, if you've watched me before, we're getting bored of me saying this, but there are five main designs in three colourways, which gives us that overall 15. We do also have the Bumbleberry blenders for the range, and these are the original Bumbleberries designed specifically by Lewis and Irene to work with this range. So um, I, I won't labour that, you can take a peek on the website for those, but they, the colours tone absolutely perfectly with the main uh, prints in the collection. They've been designed that way, so they are available should you so wish for your projects. On to the designs, we have got this one, which is an absolute stunner, and it's a real, real favourite. It's got the puffins and the puffin baby, which I didn't know until we started looking up the details for this range. Puff, a, a puffin chick, let's call it, is called a puffling, which is just, um, I know I'm a big daft chap, but it is is—it is super cute, is that really, isn't it? Um, interestingly, um, and I know it's only a, a little touch of detail, but interestingly, puffins only lay one egg in a, in a, in a season, so, so they really, really do care for the young. And um, these little islands that we see on here with the floral elements, which we'll pick up on um, further on in some of the other designs as well, um, are sort of key. They live on these sort of rocky outcrops, these little rocky islands. So the Lewis and Aaron have really sort of picked up on that with these, um, with these prints. And the floral elements, as I say, are something that carries on right through. And it just gives the range something a little bit different. It's a coastal range. It's got that nautical feel to it but we've got some floral elements, which is quite an interesting touch, really, um, I think, for a floral, uh, for a coastal collection. Um, this is the other colourway in, in this particular design. So we've got it in this sort of richer blue. And then there is this, which almost has a slate-style feel to it, to my way of thinking. It's an interesting blue on that one. Um, just take a peek at that. But the way they've done the, the way they've designed, should I say the, the way they've done, that's not very uh, professional of me, is it? The way they've designed the um, waves and, oh, do you know what, I'll move on to the next design and then you can really see it. It's quite an interesting style that they've done and it's given the wave feel in the sea here, um, that textured feel and actually just brush, brush strokes in the design it's really really effective just take a little peek at that does it come across really really well these little textured waves all being picked up in the brush strokes that you can see um really really effective design these um three it's why we've actually it's very rare that we're clever with the way we put these stacks together but it's why we've put this next little design at the top it has been so popular crosses over for so many different uses does this design there is that option in this sort of sea green color We've got this lighter blue option here. And although it's waves, I mean, it's, it's got that obvious wave sort of feel to it. Because of the nature of the design, because of the use of those brush strokes and those slightly different blenders, it has been used for absolutely all sorts. You can even use this heading over onto landscapes and things just to give that background texture in a, in a piece. Whether that's from a quilting point of view or moving more into embroidery and stitch work along those sort of lines. These, these three, in fact, let me get the other colourway. These three have been really, really popular prints. Um, and to be honest, it's the usual job with anything along these sort of, that's a nice colour, isn't it? The usual job with anything along these sort of lines. It's just a fantastic blender. It's picking up on different shades. You've got the background colour. And again, just look at the amount of shades packed into this one fabric. You've got the background shade, You've got one element of the wave. You've got the other used on one of the brush strokes. The stronger version of that on the other. And then the white wisp as well. 
So it's packed full of different shades, which just means it works right across this collection, obviously, but also others. So it's it's just one to really, really bear in mind. Um, right, off the waist, because I know that's a blender. We'll move, move on to some of the some of the tastier designs, let's say, in this collection, where you've got this one, which is just a fantastic, classic puffin print. And you've got that puffin with the puffling on there. And then this little sprig here as well, which you'd say was going down the star rip, but it's picking up on that sort of floral, almost jellyfish, starfish feel. And again, we'll see that in some of the other florals uh, coming on too. That to me is gorgeous with that rich, strong background um, in that sort of sea green, strong sea green. But it comes in this natural, which is very effective as well. And also in this Torpy grey style coloured background. And this is where we start to see Lewis and Aaron's use of colour coming in. We've got these three for the puff, uh, for the puffing and the puffling, where we've got that sort of torpy grey and natural, and then that lovely rich uh, sort of sea green, sea blue style colour. But they don't, they're not the exact same shades that we've seen on the previous designs we've already looked at, but they do coordinate perfectly. You'll see that in some of the uh, let me just pick the one that goes with this. See that in this set here. So that's that's this fabric here, but moving across onto some of the other prints. So look how it works with, with that colourway. It's really, really clever is that use of colour. It's something that sometimes I labour a little bit too much about Lewis and Irene, but it's one of the reasons we are massive fans of them here at Empress because one of their ranges gives such an incredible spread of colours. It gives you lots of different options on how you want to use it, whether you want to use it in one project or multiple, or just pick one fabric out for one particular colour project you've already got underway. Um, and that is the absolute classic example of that in this range. Um, so moving on from me getting a bit over passionate about the shades there, we've got this, which is the first of the sea holly prints starting to kick in in this collection and it's a lovely floral print and it's really picking up on sort of the silhouettes you've just got that sort of two-tone shading with the way they've created this which works absolutely fantastically it's in that wonderful color moving back to a nautical style blue we have this oh that's very effective isn't it We've got that option there and then there is also this very very light silver grey option too and again just that use of colour that spreading of colour um, you see it on that really really effective and again this is almost heading for people who are fans of it, it's almost heading to a true very very light subtle shaded tone on tone effect it's just a beautiful beautiful print very very delicate very, very delicate, but still packed full of detail, packed full of these floral elements that we'll see on this print in a minute, which is an absolute beauty. Let me just move that piece. And, whoops, I'll just make a little bit of room. Here we go. So, I don't want to knock anything off. those over then we can still see some of the designs and these two at the tees in let's move those so so these last three prints are real in fact let me move that as well these last three prints are absolutely beautiful florals i'm sure you're going to love these they are fantastic they pick up on this use of sea holly um, which Lewis and Iron have used extensively in this collection. We saw it in that blender just a moment ago. And also, it's, it's why I was trying to get back to this, it's what appears on here as well, on, one of the, the, on the original main design. But you've also got absolutely all sorts of other coastal plants, with obviously the focus on the, on the sea holly itself on this particular print. And sea holly itself, just a little anecdote on that, um, legend has it that if you carried it with you on your travels it would help keep you safe although mum was chuckling when she first read that and said it would be a little bit prickly though wouldn't it uh, which is true but uh, just a, just a nice little touch on that but this this design to me it is gorgeous all of those colours work so well that background shade to me helps those really stand out 
but we've got it in these other two colours as well, which again are stunning. Let's just take a peek at this. So on this one, you've got that richer coloured background, as you can see, with those florals on top, and just a slightly more subtle, softer take on the sea holly itself that you can see from it there to the one on the blue option. And then finally, there is this colourway, which is reverting back to picking up some of those naturals that we saw earlier in the background. And again, those florals just popping that little bit more off that sort of a more softer coloured background on there. But the detail Lewis and Irene go into, and it's worth, it's worth just picking up on very, very briefly, not just in the holly, but look at these, all this little extra little touches in each one of the heads on this, in the leaf here, on the top here, you know, they, they absolutely go to town on these little elements. It's just what makes the design so uh, so pretty and so so well rounded and finished somehow. Um, that's it in terms of the designs. As I say, I've mentioned the uh, I've mentioned the mumbleberries. In terms of projects, these are 100% cotton. They're 44 inches wide, which is 110 centimeters, so a classic quilting width. And when I talk about 100% cotton, it covers a multitude of sins. Whereas this is an absolutely beautiful quality. Lewis and Irene only ever print their fabrics on grade A, 100% premium quality cotton cloth. That's important because not only is it nice to touch and it will wear well and you can use it for all sorts of projects from cushions through to quilts, through to aprons and bags and more. The other additional bonus with it being a nice, soft, um, flat, smooth cloth is that the printing becomes really, really precise. When it goes through the printing machines at the factory, because there's no fluff, because there's no hair or movement in the fabric itself, you get these really pristine print details, which, just going back to what I mentioned about the quality of the, of the, of the design, should I say earlier, you could have a quality design, but if you didn't print it onto a quality cloth, you wouldn't necessarily see all those details. So that is one of the big, big bonuses, as well as, as I say, the touch, the feel, the wearing well, that kind of thing, that is the other absolute bonus. I mentioned projects there, cushions, as it, well, it's designed for it's designed with quilting in mind, of course, but perfect for cushions, absolutely wonderful for bags. Um, aprons, we've seen, we, we see lots of aprons at the moment, and this would absolutely be fine for that, right the way through to dressmaking. Lots of Lewis and Irene's cottons now being used for dressmaking, shirts, anything along those sort of lines. They are absolutely perfect for it. One last thing to show you before I go, we've got, will be a little bit creased because we've just had it all folded up but in the range there is this wonderful panel it's amazing i'm feeling it like a flag isn't that just fantastic you've got these four cushion panels usually you would use those on the front but we've got we've got some samples in the works with one on the one on each side so you've got sort of a double-sided cushion but they are just so effective and absolutely pick up on all the details we've seen in the designs as you would expect of course so if you do want to use one of the other designs as a backing fabric or to add extra elements, then it would certainly work perfectly. And again, you'll see it on, we've got the sea holly on there. We've got that original design just blown up. Um, really, really a gorgeous set of prints there. Um, a gorgeous set of prints, a gorgeous set of panels there to explore, as I'm sure you will agree. Um, there is, of course, all the details for this range on the website. And if you've got any questions, please do get in touch. You can leave a you can leave a message. You can leave a comment underneath the video. You can message us through any of the social media channels, or of course, email us through the website. Or alternatively, do pick up the phone. Either me or one of the wonderful Empress team will be delighted to chat and help, whether it's with this collection or indeed any of the other ranges here at Empress. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope I've covered everything, uh, but get in touch if not. And thank you so much indeed for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.